This video covers the concept of diffraction. So what is diffraction? Diffraction is the slight bending of waves as it passes around the edge of an object. So in here, water waves simply passes through slits and the waves bends. So it's diffraction or water waves simply diffracted through the slits. Look at the sides, these waves simply bends, slightly bends. So diffraction occurs in here. Now, we'll see how sound wave is diffracted. So when sound wave travels through a slits is simply diffracted or bends. So what will happen to the light wave? So for light wave, light wave also show the same things. Light wave also diffracted when it travels through slits. Look at this one, these sides, the wave simply diffracted or it's bends. So diffraction occurs for all types of waves. It doesn't matter what types of wave it is. The amount of bending depends on the relative size of the wavelength of light to the size of the opening. If the opening is much larger than the wave wavelengths, the bending will be almost unnoticeable. However, if the two are closer in size or equal, the amount of bending is considerable. The extent of diffraction depends on the wavelength and the physical dimension of the gap. So diffraction depends on two things, number one, wavelength, and number two is the physical dimension of the gap. So this can be demonstrated by using a light wave. So in here, the wavelength of the light wave remain constant, and we will try to increase the opening of the gaps or size of the opening of the gaps. So what will happen if we increase the size of the opening of the gaps? So look at this leads, the opening increases, look at this carefully and what about the diffraction? If the opening is much larger than the wave's wavelengths, the bending will be almost unnoticeable. So it depends on the size of the gaps. So when the gaps is smaller, look at this, the bending is much more than the previous one. So diffraction is more when the gap is smaller, but diffraction is less when the size of the gap is comparatively larger. Diffraction involves a changing direction of waves as they pass through an opening or around a barrier of their path. The waves are seen to pass around the barrier into the region behind it. Now we'll see how sound wave is diffracted. So sound wave also diffracted like the light wave. So the diffraction also depends on the size of the opening. If the size of the opening becomes larger, the diffraction becomes comparably less. So look at this. When size of the opening becomes less, diffraction comparably more than the previous one. Now we will see what will happen to the water wave. So same thing is applicable for the water waves. When water waves moves through a slits, look at this one, it bends, so diffraction occurs. And this diffraction also depends on the size of the opening. If it's smaller, diffraction is comparatively greater. For a smaller opening, waves diffracted more. So diffraction is greater when the gap is narrower. Now we learn about the relationship between the diffraction and the wavelength of a wave. So, you know, the light wave simply diffracted when it moves or travels through slits. The amount of diffraction increases with increasing wavelengths and decreases with decreasing wavelengths. Red light have higher wavelength than the violet one. So red light diffracted greater or larger than the violet one. 
So look at this. This red light diffracted more. But what about the violet lights? Violet lights diffracted comparatively less because the wavelength is less. The same theme is applicable for green colors or for blue colors or any other colors. Okay. So diffraction also depends on the size of the wavelengths.